All right. What is up, Tycoons? What's up, traders? I'm giving you guys an update on Gala Games, ticker symbol G-A-L-A. -A, and we've done a great job of maintaining bullishness. Um, and I'm going to go over the overhead price targets that we're looking for to see if we're going to continue to hit our bullish price targets, as well as some of the warning signs that you need to be cautious of and be prepared of. So that way, if there is a downside crash, you're prepared for the move and you know the three major levels that we need to hold to continue this uptrend. So make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and we'll go ahead and jump straight into it. Now, I've been covering Gala for a very long time. As you can see, we rejected our major retracement levels over here. We had a rising wedge. We broke that rising wedge. We had a larger symmetrical triangle. We broke that, and I've given some of the major support and resistance levels, and we've been following the TA very well. If you're not familiar with the three major resistance or retracement levels, those are going to be the 61.8, the 50%, and the 38.2 using the Fibonacci tool right over here. The reason you use these is to spot trend continuation or trend reversal because nothing moves in a straight line down or in a straight line up. You get a move down retracement continuation lower of that trend or a move up retracement continuation higher of that trend. You can spot reversals whenever you move up, retrace, consolidate, and break through those retracement levels or when you move down, retrace, consolidate, and break through those retracement levels. That, so you can use it to spot trend continuation versus trend reversals. So over here, we rejected the 38.2 pretty well. And we came down, continued that trend. So now we established a new high, right? And then we established a new low down here. So we come down, we retraced, we got rejected at the 38.2 again, and then we continued that trend and made new lows. And we held our support levels pretty well, ultimately before flipping them to resistance. And what you can see is most recently, we took our swing high, had it down to our swing low, and we came up, consolidated a little, and we blew right past our retracement levels. So we got a short-term reversal, and we knew our major levels up ahead uh, as, you know, old support is going to become new resistance. And you can see we respected these levels very well. We closed here and then opened exactly the next day, closed the next day at it. And then we did a great job of breaking through our resistance levels here and coming up and really ultimately pushing towards our bullish price targets to the upside. We were able to hit 0.063 um to the t right we wicked exactly up to there so we're going to see if we can continue this bullishness and head up possibly towards our 0 0.069 bullish price target now remember none of this video is uh, financial advice i'm not telling you guys to buy it because we're about to go up uh, to this price target but i'm giving you guys the overhead levels as well as some of the support levels down below so that way you can be prepared and help understand price action a little bit better. Um, now, some of the other things that you can use besides the retracement levels is going to be the MACD right here, okay, as well as the relative strength index, the RSI. This is going to give you and measure the relative strength of a token at its given price. So let's take a look at what we're doing at these circles here. We have a high, and then we have a higher high right here. So clearly, the token's in an uptrend, uh, creating higher highs and going up in price. But if you look at the relative strength, we have a low, or I'm sorry, we have a high, we have a lower high, we have a lower high again. So while the token has been creating higher highs, we've actually been losing relative strength and creating lower highs. This is a term known as bearish divergence, and it's an indicator that we may see some type of bearish activity in the future. Now, we have been consolidating a little bit, um, and you know that could be a result of the bearish divergence, but we need to be cautious if this bearish divergence truly wants to play out and cause a, a drop. We have this trend line here that we've tested multiple times on gala right and this is on the daily chart we've tested this trend line multiple times the more times you test a trend line the weaker it gets now we've also tested our overhead resistance at 0 0.058 many many times as well so both of these levels are getting pretty weak and we should see some type of a break here soon as we're really starting to squeeze in between these two over uh these two main levels now if we get a break to the downside right um, we want to hold these three support levels, right? So just like we looked for continuation of a downtrend and we got our overhead retracement resistance levels, what we're doing now is we're measuring our swing hello up to our swing high. We've had a very strong impulsive move. If we do get some type of a pullback, we can pull back all the way to the 61.8 before determining if we're going to continue that trend up higher or if we're going to come down, consolidate at our major levels and ultimately break them for a reversal. So the three major levels you want to pay attention to of support are going to be 0 0.044, 0 0.039, and also 0 0.033. If we come down and break these levels, then we have the chance of possibly retesting our 0 0.0239 support level uh, and potentially heading lower. 
or if we if we do break down, um, you know, and and then hold and find support here, then we can come back up and retest our bullish price targets to the upside. Now, I'm not saying we have to collapse, but I'm just saying if we do fall because of that trend line and also due to the bearish divergence on the MACD, that we'll be prepared and know the important levels for trend continuation or for trend reversal. Now, you can also use the MACD for entry and exit signals. And if you take a look, it's been consolidating and choppy a little bit. So an entry signal is going to be when the blue line crosses above the orange line. And an exit signal is going to be when the blue line crosses um, below the orange line, right? So you see, we did come down and cross below. We got a slight pullback, but look at how it's been choppy right here, all right? So whenever it's chopping like this and your blue line is going up and down, up and down, the trend most likely is going to continue, right? And it's really just trying to find direction. So as you can see, we've really been choppy here going up and down, up and down, up and down. And so has the MACD, but we need to be a little bit cautious because it's starting to create some space from the orange line here. And it could be an indicator that we're about to see some bearish activity as well. If this blue line continues to head downwards and we break this trend line and this bearish divergence right here plays out. Um, you know, then most likely we're going to see a pullback to our three major retracement levels. And we know that if we hold these, we have the possibility of continuing the uptrend and going higher. But if we break these, then we have the possibility of getting a reversal and coming back down to test 0.0239. So that's essentially it for today's video. We have our overhead price targets. We're going to see if we can break out past 0 0.058. If we can do that, then we could come back up to retest 0 0.063 as well as 0 0.069. Uh, if not, we most likely will end up breaking this trend line and we could come back down and test our major support levels. So uh, pay close attention, okay? It's going to be um, a shaky week this week. Uh, it's going to be pretty volatile in my opinion. Uh, that could be moves to the upside. That could, could be moves to the downside. But hopefully you learned something new in this video that'll help you understand price action a little bit more. And if you did, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'm out.